Welcome to Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the basics of Punnett squares. And in this example, we will have two heterozygous parents. In order to solve a Punnett square, let's review some basic vocabulary. A trait is a characteristic that can be passed from one generation to another. An example of a trait would be eye color. An allele is a different form of the same trait. Having different eye color would be an example of an allele. Alleles are described as either dominant or recessive, depending on their associated traits. When solving Punnett squares, keep the following in mind. A dominant allele plus a dominant allele equals a dominant phenotype. And that would be homozygous because both alleles are the same. Dominant allele plus recessive allele equals a dominant phenotype. And this would be heterozygous because you have two different alleles. And then a res recessive plus a recessive allele equals a recessive phenotype. And that would be homozygous. A dominant trait is always written with a capital letter. A recessive trait is written with a lower case. Steps for solving and setting up a Punnett square. First, draw the Punnett square box. Next, write the genotype of the parents on the top and on the side of the Punnett square. Fill in the boxes and then determine the percentage of phenotypes, which is the physical expression of the trait. And remember, each box of the Punnett square is worth 25%. Okay, so let's cross two heterozygous flowers. For this flower type, the color can be white or red. Use a Punnett square to determine the probability of one of their offspring having a white color. So let's draw the Punnett square. We will write the genotypes of the parents. I will look for information in the problem. Both flowers are heterozygous for red color. So I will use the letter T and I will write a capital letter and a lower case. Next, remember a heterozygous genotype is always a dominant trait. So both parents are written big T, little t because they are heterozygous. Next, I will fill in the boxes. So now, let's see what color the flowers will be. Anytime you see a capital letter, this trait will appear, and you will have a dominant trait. And the only time you receive recessive traits is when you have two lowercase letters. So we have dominant, 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 and then this is recessive. So the dominant is 3 out of 4 or 75 percent and the recessive is 1 out of 4 which is 25 percent so the answer to the original question would be 25 percent you'll have a white flower so there we go using Punnett squares in order to solve genetic crosses thanks for watching and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day please subscribe and share